Hello. For today's workshop, we will be presenting the automatic digitization of engineering diagrams using deep learning and graph search. From our team, you'll be hearing from myself, Michael Haddad, and my colleague, Shovik Mani. We will cover the motivation for our work, the type of engineering diagram we focused on, the methods, results, and future work. This is an example of a piping and instrumentation diagram, also referred to as a PNID. They show the relationship between process lines, equipment, instrumentation uh, throughout a facility. They are used in the entire life cycle of the facility, from initial design to construction to safety checks to operations and through decommissioning, and also as a starting point for the design of similar plants. These factors make PNIDs a valuable, uh, up to date ground truth data source for the configuration of an industrial facility. However, PNIDs are often archived as hundreds of CAD files per facility with limited or no metadata describing the components, connections between components, or connections between PNIDs. Our goal of this work is to extract the location, identifiers, and interrelationship between the many components represented within these diagrams. Why do we want this information? As IoT sensors have proliferated throughout these facilities, it has become increasingly important to know precisely where a sensor is within a process and then this information can be hard to gather and uh, keep up to date in practice. Here is a section of a piping and instrumentation diagram. Uh, next to A, we see instrumentation represented by a circle with text inside of it. This is referred to as an LMI, or locally mounted instrument. Um, next to C, we see a circle inscribed inside of a square, which represents a sensor, or more commonly referred to uh, in industry parlance as a tag. Uh, a tag is connected to a distributed control system and represented in the, an operational historian system. Text inside a circle indicates the instrument or sensor type and the unique ID uh, associated with it in the operational historian. The dashed line between an LMI and a tag indicates an electrical signal, uh, and the text adjacent to solid lines, which are process lines, uh, specify the size and material of that process line. The larger shapes uh, depict process equipment, such as a vessel or pump shown next to E, uh, and have larger text uh, that are their unique identifiers. So there are three steps in our diagram digitization pipeline, uh, symbol detection, text recognition, uh, and association, and then connection detection. The inputs to the pipeline are a diagram image, uh, and an optional set of manually labeled symbols uh, in the diagram. The output of the pipeline uh, is an asset hierarchy table showing the associated, associated text and connections between symbols. Uh, so, so here I'll explain how we labeled the diagrams for the symbol detection step. Uh, in order to train and validate a machine learning model to detect and classify tags and LMIs, we created a data set of symbol crop from a collection of 18 PNIDs. Tags and LMIs across the diagrams had a consistent size uh, and fit within a 100 by 100 pixel window. Uh, we labeled all of the tags and LMIs in the, across the 18 diagrams using these bounding boxes, uh, resulting in 308 tag crops and 687 LMI crops. Additionally, we took 100, 100 random crops that did not contain a tag or LMI symbol from each diagram, resulting in 1,800 not symbol crops. Since we used a fixed sli uh, size slide window to detect the symbols of interest, we decided to manually label the equipment symbols of interest since they vary widely in sh uh, size and shape. This also leaves it up to the user to decide what equipment should be part of the automated mapping process, as not all equipment is equally of interest. Next, I will pass off the presentation to my colleague Shovik, who will cover the rest of the pipeline methodology, our results, and future work. Thanks, Michael, and hi, everyone. My name is Shovik Mani. I'll start by explaining our symbol detection approach in depth. To detect symbols in the diagram, we trained a convolutional neural network with a LANAT architecture. Our network had three convolutional layers, followed by a fully connected dense layer, followed by a final softmax output layer. We trained this network to classify a 100 by 100 image crop as a tag, an LMI, or not a symbol. To apply the final trained CNN, we passed a sliding window over the entire diagram image and processed each window through the trained CNN. 
These are the results from the symbol detection step. In green, you see the manually labeled symbols given by the user. And in red, you see the symbols that have been detected and classified by the CNN model. Remember that the tag symbols are the circles inside the squares, and the LMIs are just the circles. And you see here that the model does a pretty good job at uh, recovering many of these symbols in the diagram. Next, uh, the second step in our diagram digitization pipeline is text recognition and association. Text plays an important role in these diagrams, serving as identifiers for various equipment and instruments, as well as descriptors for the process lines. To detect text, we use a pre-trained EAST network uh, to obtain these blue bounding boxes around text regions, and then we interpret those text areas using TextInteract OCR. Finally, we associate each uh, text region with the nearby symbols. The third and final step in our pipeline is connection detection, which is the problem of figuring out which symbols are connected to each other through solid or dashed lines. As a reminder, solid lines are physical process lines, such as pipes, whereas dashed lines represent electrical signals. We have developed a graph search approach for connection detection. First, we represent the diagram image as a graph, where nodes are pixels in the image, uh, and they're colored or, colored or blank based on the threshold in pixel intensity. Edges exist between all adjacent colored nodes. Next, a depth first search is initiated from each symbol in the diagram, uh, and the search traverses through the diagram graph along its lines to discover connected symbols. We limit connections up to the first degree, so the rest of this red symbol will be connected to the blue symbol and the green symbol, but not this orange symbol. Here are the results of connection detection on a diagram in the test set. Here we see uh, connections detected between a source symbol shown in red and other symbols shown in green. By the depth first search as it traverses through the lines in the diagram shown in blue. So here, for example, the DFS tried to go down this path, but apparently didn't find any symbols here, so it just terminated. But it did find all these green symbols in its path, um, so the red symbol is identified as connected to all of these green symbols. The final output of the pipeline is an asset hierarchy table, which structures all of the information extracted from the diagram. For each uh, detected symbol, it contains uh, its symbol type, any associated text, and IDs of connected symbol. This, in essence, is the digitized representation of the engineering diagram. To evaluate our symbol detection approach, we uh, created a separate held out test set with 11 diagrams containing 144 tag crops, 420 LMI crops, and 1,100 not symbol crops. Looking at the precision recall curves uh, from our evaluation, we found that the training set and test set performance for both classes were close to each other, uh, which means that the model is generalizing and not, not overfitting to the training set. Here is a comparison between the symbols detected by uh, the pipeline, shown in red, and the ground truth symbols, which were manually labeled, shown in green. We see that there is a nice overlap between uh, predicted and ground truth symbols, and the model is doing a good job. There are a few errors, um, so a few false positives here, here, and here. So LMIs are not ovals, they're circles, um, and a few uh, false negatives here as well. So this LMI was apparently not detected by uh, the model. So our diagram digitization pipeline transforms unstructured diagrams into structured information and empowers applications such as diagram search and equipment and sensor mapping. Uh, when combined with operational data, uh, our pipeline supports the creation of a digital twin, which uh, can enable applications such as machine learning based predictive maintenance. We hope to use this pipeline to transform legacy engineering drawings and power the next generation of industrial AI applications. Thank you.